Hello, everybody. Let me start by painting a picture with numbers. 90% of people in developed Asia Pacific markets are now active users of digital banking. 80% of Americans prefer online banking over visiting a brick and mortar establishment. And due to the increased popularity of fintech retail banking, younger millennials will, on average, visit their bank branch only twice a year from next year onwards. So now let's explore what those numbers reveal about the relationship between technology and banking. I'm Travis Clark Chief Commercial Officer at Thought Machine. Today, I'm going to double down on the key theme of this conference, building innovative foundations for recovery and beyond. And the word I want to stress here is foundation. As we gather to talk about the future of banking, focusing on collaboration between fintechs and banks, the rise of digital banking, and the critical aspect of data protection and security, I believe it's necessary to ask the question, do financial institutions possess the necessary foundations to build the bank of the future? The reality is that many banks will find, if not already, that their digital transformation ambitions are facing many constraints many of which have to do with the foundation that powers their day-to-day -day operations, their core banking systems. Based on a recent survey jointly conducted between America and Banker and Thought Machine, merely 8% of US banks, including Tier 1 and Tier 2 banks with significant international operations, are operating on modern core banking systems. About 30% are on a core modernization journey, and the rest have not even started. Among those who have completed or started their core modernization journey, they state that their ability to respond to customer market demands is the most common reason to modernize their core systems, followed by better data security. So why is this a problem? The reality is that legacy core banking systems pose serious constraints to a bank's innovation efforts. There are countless stories of banks facing serious challenges as they attempt to enter the digital age. Unreliable services, planned and unplanned maintenance, data breaches, and more. Banks running legacy core systems face a wide range of problems as they attempt to compete in the fast moving digital banking landscape. So, how do outdated core systems contribute to this issue? Firstly, legacy core systems offer extremely limited capabilities. Many tech savvy fintechs are launching into the market with new products and services, and banks have a very limited option if they wish to integrate or partner with these services. Secondly, core systems designed to run on mainframe hardware, on bygone architectures, and in dying program languages are simply not capable of innovating. They just can't build the products that their customers are demanding. And as banks strive to develop their own digital offerings, the lack of an open architecture often means maintenance, upgrades, and modifications to these systems are extremely expensive, both in time and cost. Data, the new oil of the digital age, if you like, poses another serious challenge. With legacy cores, data is processed in batch and rarely exposed to third parties. This approach simply isn't compatible with the 24 seven, always on banking approach of today an approach which has been taken for granted by consumers and further cemented by the pandemic. Instead of dwelling on the past, I want to make clear that banking does not have to be this way. There is a prosperous future for banks that are powered by modern core systems. So what would this future look like? Thought Machine was founded on the vision to revolutionize core banking, liberate banks from the shackles of legacy systems, and do it entirely with one universal banking engine. I want you to imagine a future of banking that is digital only, available anywhere and at all times. One that is customer-centric, powered by personalized products and services that operate in real time. One where consumers receive actionable insights driven by AI and data analytics, where banks can easily launch innovative products and services at speed. One where banks can maintain a low cost to income ratio. This is not beyond the realm of possibility. This future is here today. Advancements in technology have revolutionized entertainment, internet services, retail and healthcare. Banking is next and we're making it happen.
For banks to enjoy these benefits, we know that their systems must process and possess certain qualities. They must be cloud native, built for the cloud, not simply shifted into it. Everything in these systems must be real time. They must connect with other systems and expose their data through APIs and build the microservice architecture for ease of scaling and development. Even better, these systems should contain everything within one universal platform for all of the bank's needs. From retail to corporate banking, from car processing to payments, drastically reducing the cost and effort in deployment and integration. What can we all do to expedite this change? Remember, the time is now about change, not in 10 years, not in five years, not even next year. We have the necessary tools in our hands right now to bring banking into the modern era. Modern banking experiences require modern banking foundations. If the foundations are not built for change, the bank itself can't change. Banking modernization journeys will be transformative, requires a concerted effort from all stakeholders, but it doesn't have to be long-winded or indeed risky. There are proven, highly effective, successful approaches to core system migration, as proven by banks of all sizes around the world. Whether or not it's a big bank migration, a coexistence of old and new systems, or a bank testing new technologies in a greenfield initiative, there is always an approach to suit every bank strategy. Let's begin to have these conversations more broadly, engage your peers and leaders in banking, and make them understand that the time has truly arrived for modern banking. Thank you.